children, children, children. All right, folks, the markets are down. What did I say? What did I say? I made that video yesterday, or was it the day before? I don't remember. I said we will get rejected at 32,000, and that's what we did. We got rejected at 32,000. So what does this mean? Well, it means Bitcoin's pretty much doing the same thing it's been doing for the last couple months. <laughs> it's just very weak. There's not a lot of momentum behind it. Um, Cardano on fire the last couple of days. Cardano's also seen its pullback, which is not surprising. But I'm going to stick to my original thesis. Now is the time to be buying Cardano. June is going to be a great month for Cardano. We have the Vasco hard fork. Here's a news article right here. Vasco hard fork. ADA expected to hit a dollar by the end of June. I think that's highly, highly possible. Okay? Just because we're in a pullback right now, Look at what Cardano did. It went from 40 to almost 66 cents in like a day. Folks, these things pump crazy. So for me, I will be continuing to accumulate my Cardano. I will be holding my Cardano. And um, hopefully we see that dollar mark um, by the end of June. Now, a lot depends on Bitcoin. But as of right now, I think the number one altcoin, even holding over Bitcoin, is Cardano. Like I said in my previous video, Cardano has already dumped 85%, 90%. It's like a no-brainer with everything going on. Cardano is the coin to hold. Now, everything's pretty much having a pullback today. Ethereum, 1,800. I think we're, I think we're probably going to see Ethereum at 1,200 at the bottom of this bear market. Oh, XRP slumping. Oh, Cardano is slumping. Everything's pretty much having a big pullback today, mainly because of the stock market. The stock market's pretty much in a slump as well. But folks, this is as good as it gets. Now's the time to be accumulating these coins, including Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, Cardano, if you don't have any Cardano, now's the time to be accumulating. Stop trying to wait for low, low prices. You might never get that 25 cent Cardano. Really, other than that, folks, everything's boring. I told you this pullback was going to happen. That's why I sold my, uh, my trading bag on KuCoin. I did very, very well. And I'm going to be redeploying that into Cardano at hopefully 49 cents. That's my goal. I'm going to buy back in at 49 cents. And I'll probably put that in my long-term hold bag. So, folks, when, it, it gets to the point in these markets where they're very predictable. I mean, everybody was pretty much knew we were going to get a dump. Now, I think a lot of people thought we might get up to like $33,000, $34,000 before dump. It just didn't, I just didn't feel the momentum. Thirty-one, thirty-two was the top for now. And we'll see what happens the rest of the month. Really, right now, everything depends on the stock market. Stock market's very bearish right now. Inflation is out of control. War is brewing. They're talking about nuclear war scare. Uh, gas prices are absolutely crazy. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. In fact, I was even thinking, you know, I, I'm a private investigator. I drive. I used to drive. I used to put 50,000 miles in my car a year. Now I only do my private investigator work two days a week. And if gas goes up to seven, uh, seven eight dollars a gallon, even though I get paid a mileage rate, I think I'm not going to do it anymore because I don't, I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like having to put $50 a day into my car, even if I'm getting reimbursed a, a large percentage of that. It's just like a mental thing. And I think a lot of other people are going to have the same mentality. I mean, if you're some blue-collar schlub, you know, making a, a blue-collar income, and you're used to commuting 45 uh, minutes to work every day, if gas goes up to seven, eight, nine dollars a gallon, you cannot go to work. So it's going to be, it's a shitty year. It's going to be a shitty year. Um, they say, you know, airline, airline tickets are skyrocketing because of jet fuel. So there's really, nothing, <laughs> there's really nothing bullish happening with the markets. Now, the good news is we've already had the major dump. I think the hard part is over. But like I said in the previous video, the last 20, 30% is bad. Cardano going to 30 cents hurts. Cardano going to 20 cents, that's like, ugh, that really hurts. Like that shakes out 90% of the holders right there. Will that happen? I don't know. That's why I am accumulating and holding and for the next bull market. But look, it's not going to be a fun year. Not just in the markets, just in general, especially if you're traveling, you're working, you got to put gas in your car. Um, so I really don't see anything really, really bullish happening until we come to, towards the end of this year. Maybe the end of the summer, we start to pull out of this a little bit and we start, you know, Bitcoin maybe makes its way back up to forty, forty-five thousand dollars $45,000 and we hover around there. That would be great because that would probably mean Cardano's back up to a buck fifty. 
But for the next couple months, I just see these little pumps. I see these little dumps. Um, if there's news, we'll get a pump, like with a Cardano um, hard fork coming out. And there's also consensus uh, this month with Cardano, because we're already in June. So there's actually a lot of uh, good news that could pump Cardano this month. So I'm totally in Cardano. In fact, I even sold um, some of my Metaverse coins, and I put it into Cardano. I'm like, I'm actually, Cardano is now 70% of my portfolio. So we'll see what happens. But just hold on tight, folks. Par for the course. If you follow my channel, I told you it was going to dump at 32,000. Um, do me a favor, like and subscribe to my videos if you want to get my updates. And uh, have a good one. I'll do no another video tomorrow. Hopefully get a little bit of a, a pump up tomorrow, maybe a little relief rally. But um, at this point, I just want to see Bitcoin dump down to like $20,000. And then do like a flash crash down. Let me get my Cardano for 30 cents or 25 cents. That's what I want. Let me get my Theta for 80 cents. And then I want to shoot back up. But it just seems like it doesn't want to do it. It just doesn't want to do it. And it's frustrating. And there's no guarantee it will do it, folks. That's why you have to have a skin in the game now.